Welcome back to Buckeye Football Weekly. Ohio State taking its top-rated team on the road to face the 13th-ranked Hawkeyes at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City. Sean Gale, the honorary captain, leading the Bucks out for what they know will be a raucous Big Ten environment, and they were right. Ted Ginn Jr. gets rattled on the first offensive play from scrimmage. The Bucks recover, though. It's Ginn getting it back himself. Antonio Pittman bounces it outside on the Bucks' first drive and rips off a nice 20-yard run down the left-hand sideline on a first and 10 play. It sets up another first and 10 where this time it's Troy Smith keeping it, calls his own number, and goes for six yards. Third and nine from the 12. Anthony Gonzalez into the end zone from Troy Smith and the Bucks strike on their first drive of the game to take a seven to nothing lead. It would stay that way throughout the first quarter. James Laurinaitis bringing the D heat. He takes down Drew Tate, a sack and a loss of nine yards. Herb Grigsby is going to haul in this Tate pass though just before Tate is sacked. That thrown up on a third and nine from the 21. It's out to the 31-yard line. The Buckeye defense tightens from there. Albert Young dropped by Vernon Golston. Loss of one on the play. Kyle Schlicker nails it through the uprights. 32-yard field goal is good. 7-3 the count in this ball game. Tate back to throw in the second quarter. Play action. Brandon Mitchell wasn't falling for it. The interception, the first turnover of the game, goes the Buckeyes' way, and they would take three plays to make quick work of it and make it hurt. Antonio Pittman, 22 yards down to the five-yard line, and then on first and goal, Pittman is going to line up and take it in from there. The Buckeyes take a 14-3 lead and quiet the Kinnick Stadium crowd. The Bucks also making a rushing statement. They are going to get after this team on the ground, and they're not the only ones that are going to try to do it that way. Damian Sims rips off a 21-yard run on second and 10 from Iowa's own 20-yard line. This is their ensuing drive. Sims again. This time he's dropped at the line by John Kerr, wrapped up there by the linebacker for no gain. Albert Young from first and 10 from the 15-yard line splits a couple of defenders and powers his way into the end zone. Pretty good drive by the Hawkeyes. 15 yards, caps it for the touchdown. It's a 14-10 ball game. Chris Beanie Wells around the left side and down the sideline. Wells rips off 19 yards as the Bucks get out of a hole at their own 11. Option play goes to Wells again. That's good enough for a first down after a pickup of 11. Third and two from the 48. 11 yards complete to Ted Ginn Jr. for a first down. And then Ginn again. This another first down catch and another 11 yards picked up. Back on the ground on second and five. Antonio Pittman powers his way to a first down. Second and goal from the six. Roy Hall. Remember him? He's back. Hall in the end zone, hauls that in, a 21-10 Ohio State lead, heading to the halftime. Back out for second half action now, first and 10 from their own 20. This the initial drive for the Bucks to start the half. Remember, they open the game with a scoring drive. They close the first half with a scoring drive. They're going to open the second half with another scoring drive. 10 yards complete to Anthony Gonzalez on this second and 10 play from the 49 yard line. Gonzalez, another first down added to his ledger. Back on the ground, fourth and one. Big man, Chris Wells knocks it for a gain that gets the first down. And then first and 10 from the 30. How about the effort from Anthony Gonzalez? A hand on the turf, keeps his balance. Brian Robiski comes in and takes out two Hawkeye defenders. And two more get taken into the end zone with Gonzo. The Buckeyes take a 28 to 10 lead with a spectacular, exciting touchdown. Chris Wells back on the ground, second and four. He picks up 13 yards and a first down. Third and three. Key plays in these drives. Troy Smith tucks it and goes. First down for Smith. Second and six from the 33. Screen to Ted Ginn Jr. That's complete. He's up the field for a first down and a pickup of 15. As we turn the page into the fourth quarter, Ohio State fourth and long lines up for a 36-yard field goal attempt. And when you opt for Aaron Petrie on this particular evening, you get the upright split. He's good from there, 31 to 10, Ohio State with the lead. Iowa back with the ball, needing to move it downfield. Andy Brodell hauls in a 27-yard pass from Drew Tate. 
Tate's got to go to the air and do it plenty. Finds Bardell for a touchdown here, ending a good drive for Iowa to answer. But the Bucks had more answers on this particular evening. Tate complete, but a big hit by Antonio Smith. The ball is coughed up. Brandon Mitchell is on the bottom of the pile with a fumble recovery. The Bucks take over. Tate gets it back again. Bucks thinking pass. They get the answer again. Marcus Freeman, the tip and the interception. Ohio State trying to salt this one away defensively. They get four turnovers in the game. Brian Robisky ends up with this sweet touchdown catch. And the Bucks close out Iowa 38 to 17 on the road, 5 and 0 in September. Comments from head coach Jim Tressel next. Wrap up this week's edition of Buckeye Football Weekly and coach first rule of the road, win the turnover margin. You do it times four. Well, there's no question. The takeaways that our defense got were at such great times, and and we were fortunate. The first play we were on offense, we let the ball on the ground but we came up with it and so we ended up with zero turnovers and you have a great chance as long as you win the turnover margin and play solid on special teams. Well maybe that first play was a wake-up call as to how physical this game would be. You set a statement you go down with your first offensive drive you close out the first half with a scoring drive you open the second half with a scoring drive the answers were there. Well our kids did a good job Troy was in command of the situation. Um, Iowa is a team that lines up the way you expect them to line up and now can you execute you know under the tough conditions and so forth and you know a good bit of the time we did there were times when they got us stopped but uh, our defense came up with the takeaways. Well I'll say 19 of 41 passing was Drew Tate the D playing some pretty good balls out there. Yeah, they really did and, and you know Iowa's never going to give up they got physical kids that big tight end of theirs is something their running backs are good uh, their defense plays hard uh, to come away with a win at Kinnick Stadium uh, is special. Yeah it certainly was for uh, the fans that were able to make the trip now they'll go home and see the Buckeyes finish September 5-0. and You survive it. Well, you know, we talked about September was a huge challenge and the, the schedule we had was something. And really what that does is make October even more important because as we take the practice field uh, this afternoon and, and uh, make sure we do a good job getting better, give them Monday off, and then... Uh, and it's, it's back at it with Bowling Green. Yeah, back at it for the first one in October. Join us then on Buckeye Football Weekly. Buckeye Football Weekly with Jim Tressel is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance.